Have you recently separated from your partner? You may be wondering, what do I do now? A lot of people think they have to go to court when they separate. In reality, most people end up working things out without needing to ask the court for help. Let's take a look at four different ways you can go about making arrangements for children and property division after a separation. The ones we'll focus on here are negotiation, family dispute resolution, collaborative law, and litigation. Have you been talking with your former partner? Perhaps putting forward some ideas about what you can do about the children or the house? You're negotiating. This can be a pretty flexible process and might involve sitting down with the other person, talking over the phone, or writing letters and emails back and forth. You can negotiate with or without the assistance of a lawyer. However, it's always wise to get some legal advice first so you're working with the best information possible. If you need to sort out arrangements for your children, family dispute resolution can be a good option. This process can also be used for sorting out property issues. It's confidential and what goes on cannot be brought up in court later unless the law requires it. Family dispute resolution often takes the form of a mediation where the people involved sit around a table with a person called a mediator and try to reach an agreement. A mediator's role is to ensure that each of you get to discuss what is important to you and facilitate constructive discussions. And the majority of people who attend family dispute resolution end up reaching an agreement. Another way of sorting out your property and or children's issues is collaborative law. Collaborative law takes a team approach to problem solving. Each person and their lawyer agree not to go to court. If one person does go to court, then neither lawyer can continue working with the couple. This helps everyone to commit to sorting out the issues without court intervention or the threat of court. Negotiations are confidential and cannot be referred to later if you do go to court. This process will usually involve a series of face-to-face -face meetings between the people involved and their lawyers. The parties can jointly enlist the help of a psychologist, counsellor, financial advisor or other expert. Litigation means bringing court proceedings. Going to court can take a long time. It can get expensive and it's often very stressful. Before you go to court about children, it is usually compulsory to attend family dispute resolution. If you go to court, you will proceed through a number of formal steps controlled by a judge or magistrate. If you go all the way through to a trial, at the end a decision will be made for you. There is no fixed formula a court uses when making decisions about how much time a child spends with each parent or who gets what in a property settlement. So, a particular outcome can never be guaranteed. There are times that litigation is the best option. These usually involve matters where there is either a significant lack of information being made available or urgency or risk. If you are unsure whether the family court should be your first option, go and talk to a lawyer who can help you decide what to do. And if you have tried the alternatives and have not managed to come to an agreement, then you can ask the family court to assist. So which road is right for you and your former partner? There are many things you will need to consider, but you might want to start by asking yourself some questions like, is it safe for me to meet one-on-one -on -one with my former partner? Am I concerned for my safety or my children's safety? How well do my former partner and I communicate? Do we trust what the other person says? Do I feel confident negotiating on my own or will I need someone to help me? Are there any complicated legal or financial issues or particular issues about the children's needs? How much is it gonna cost and can I afford it? How long will it take? Is assistance available from legal aid or a community-based service? It really is a good idea to get legal advice early on. A family lawyer can provide you with information relevant to your specific situation. Going to see a lawyer does not mean you have to go to court. A lawyer can be involved as much or as little as you want. Remember, even if you try one road and don't resolve all your issues, you can always try another. If you are having trouble working through your issues relating to separation, it can be helpful to access extra support. Call Legal Aid for an appropriate referral or access our website.